If you guys actually did want to see the adventure Age of Ultron, I think you should have seen it. It's pretty cool. I actually went and see it yesterday and I came out pretty late with my brother, so yeah, it was it was crazy. I got this big cup too, just to show you I went there. Anyway, I'm just wanna tell you that I'm doing Mass Pain three, the glass or ending of the characters. And as you can see this is an old magazine from Game Inform back in 2009. Then somehow I just save it. So, the whole point I'm doing a custodiation. And I'm already begin to working on that. Uh, the few things I will tell you is that I actually have the body from Damn Toys. I have the Virtuon's hand, the Punisher Revenge. It's called a Virtuon, Virtuon's Toys. I just got the left and the right hand triggers perfect for that this specific characters, even though you know Mass Pain does carry two different type of guns. So yeah, he's gonna carry a lot of guns if when I finish this. And um the structural of this one is perfect because he could be artificial point. The clothing is maybe not identical, so it's gonna take me a while to detail that part. I'm working with right now with the the gun shoulder hoisted. So what I have here is just the, the work of it. If I could take the here it goes, a nice white bow so you can see it. This is completely black, so you can't see this shit on this table. Pardon my language. So here is the original of it. This one is really old. I had it for so long. It's just like about like ten bucks. It was like a figurine store before it closed down. So this is like the two shoulder hoist shoulder or uh, hoist or can't say specific way you call it it's just a gun holder thing so right here originally it looks like that and it's like upright down and um general military thing but right here what i'm doing is repositioning me to make it look like this by cutting off the short of the end and um add in the epoxy to the end of that just to give it into the sh to the almost in the sense to make it look like well not exactly just like the other one is i want it to be right there so he looks like he has a gun inside and whatever it could be stuffed in here and this is actually plastic so i'm gonna have to heat it up get a way to adjust into all the type of guns in this and um i'm doing really having fun with the only thing i'm using to cut that thing off is this knife and hot water just to soft up a little bit trying not to cut too much not to try to get it even enough to get it as accurate so it looks just like like that on the end you can see it. it's gonna be painted with brown and um the back here is gonna be have to be removed but i'm going to leave this these little parts here so it should be different all that's gonna be somehow has to be dyed the color of the strap somewhere or improvise with the letters or something to it so I have this one in a pot scene and leave it to dry. I don't want to do nothing to it. One at a time. So I, I still have the epoxy and this this work really well for plastic. <sighs> I'm also making a belt buckle because somehow I'm not gonna willing to buy a pants, so I'm gonna use a making a mischief belt buckles of it because apparently he has a belt buckle that shines up differently and uh, there's a maybe little detail in it. <coughs> Um, so the, the Virtuon Toys hands I have here is, it's a very separate thing, but it's rubber, so it's very rubber, and, um, the joints of the damn toys, it fit really well. I try it on a hot toys, and it doesn't seem to work perfectly, the damn toys has a very tip, and it's so rounded, you just pop it in there, and it stay put completely in, like, you can see it, like, it stays perfectly in without even just tugging in. It's not going to come out. So I like this. And the fact that this is the body structural of the damn toys one is perfect for Matt's pain. And, um, hopefully, yeah, he he stands very well right now. So, and, um, the boots I have here is not accurate. This has to be, like, a tan ones, but this is, like, not a snap on this is an actual is a boot maybe i can actually write up the coloring a little bit but the pants is not actually as accurate it might be stone or this but different different tactical pants the shirt i did this myself 
has a lines or something, so I have to find something with that. So I did this with a coffee, just a little dab into it, just to give it a nice little sweat stain a little bit, just to test it out. But I'm actually going to re read this insurance or regaining this one, just because it's a little bit, well, it's a, it's a second idea of the tank tops. And um, the head I actually have, it's actually, surprisingly speaking, it was... I think it's the um, from Iron Man. Uh, this is like custom one. It's not the actual head from a hot toy. It looks it's the Jeffrey Bridge one, where he's bald and has a beard. I don't know his name exactly, but you probably know it. It's just the way how the the figuring looks. I could actually manipulate instructions to look like a little bit like Matt's paint, just a briefly and try to reshape it up every way that I can and uh yeah so that's what I'm doing and it takes me a while to do the or James Earl Cash because of the body that I ordered in Hong Kong or um working around with a diet and fixing it just make it look perfect even the straps to work with that so hopefully if you guys like it please uh subscribe my channel I'm gonna do a little more work on this but I'm gonna wait it Give it a few days, let it heal. So I'm Kisui Sasao-san, and please, watch The Adventure of Asia Trogdon. That's already came out. I kept in the refrigerator.